right, guys, back again for another 31 Days of Horror horror Movie Review, and another lazy one, and I'm kind of running out of movies that I feel like I can just talk about, and this movie is really one, one that I love, and uh, very special to me for a lot of different reasons, but um, this movie is Bad Taste by Peter Jackson, that Jackson, and I remember the first time I watched this movie, I rented it on VHS from Family Video, and I watched it with one of my old friends up in his bedroom. We were like teenagers, maybe, I might have been 18 then, I don't know, but, you know, I think I was, that's when I was really getting into the movies, so we were, we were kind of adults at this point, but, wow, this movie is just something else, you know, it's kind of like in the way that when I very first saw David Lynch, when I very first saw Racerhead, you see the poster in the background and how much that movie meant to me that it was so much different than like any other movie that I've seen. It's like a dream. It's like a dream, kind of like a nightmare. Um, just the surrealism is so different. But the way that this movie is bad taste is nothing like that at all. <laughs> but no, but this movie is really gory and bloody, kind of in different ways that I hadn't seen before, and just the whole feel of it is just so different. Like. Oh, I love these old Peter Jackson movies, and Dead or Alive, um, there's a movie called Dead or Alive, it's also called Brain Dead, and it's a zombie movie, and I think it's like the goriest movie of of all time, and a lot of people say that, um, but from what I've seen, I've seen a lot of gruesome movies, and it's kind of like a, it's kind of realistic, but kind of goofy at the same time. This movie, I think... I would consider it a horror movie. It involves aliens who basically eat humans, and like I said, there's there's blood and there's gore in it. So there's kind of, you know, the horror genre can include so many different things, but I think when you definitely get a high volume of blood and gore, I mean, it, there could be action movies that have that. This has action in it, and it's awesome, but I think that there is kind of a horror element with the, the whole aliens eating humans and stuff. Um, you can see some of the gore in the trailer and the scenes behind me. I know it doesn't look so clear, but uh, I just love just, just watching that. I'm watching it on my computer. I can see it behind me. <laughs> I'm just seeing the clips of that movie. Like, this movie is just so special to me. But basically, yeah, it takes place in New Zealand. And, uh, you know, I think that's where he recorded a lot of his movies, The Lord of the Rings and stuff. And New Zealand's just so beautiful. So the scenery is like a plus in this movie. You know, it's an older movie, and it has an old feel to it that I love. Um, you know, like, the actors are, like, New Zealanders, so it's, it feels kind of like a foreign movie, even though they speak in English and everything. Um, it does have a different feel to it. But basically, there's these aliens that have landed on Earth, and uh, they want to eat people for food, like, turn them into soup, basically, and... So there's like these agents or bounty hunters or whatever that are that are sought after to to find them and kill them, I guess, basically, uh, if I understand, remember everything correctly. But these aliens take on a human form, or they have like a outer skin or whatever, to where they look like humans. But but they're the aliens are like so stupid, so these humans are like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> you know, you can tell that they're not right in the head, so. Um, really goofy. There's a lot of gun shooting you see in the trailer. Uh, there, it involves a rocket launcher, so there's explosions, there's shootouts. Um, there's this one character that uh, he's really goofy, and uh, I just remember like he's shooting at the alien. He has like a machine gun, like the aliens are coming after him with hammers or whatever, and, and you know, they're in their human form, and he pulls out like a machine gun, and he runs out of ammo, or he doesn't have am ammo, so he, like, makes the noise of the gun. He's like, eh, eh, and they start acting like they're getting shot, and then they fall over like they think that they're being shot. Like, they fall for it. Like, I don't know. It's just so stupid. But, um, basically, he has, like, one of the aliens hanging over the an edge of, like, a cliff, and I think his foot's tied, holding him on there or something, and he's taking, like, a stake and, like, driving it through his foot. He's like... It's like, I'm going to torture him and see what will make him crack or whatever. And somehow that guy ends up getting thrown over the ledge. 
So the actual human, like one of the bounty hunter guys or whatever, he falls down the cliff, basically like a big fall, and like busts his head like on a rock on the bottom and basically like splits the top part of his head off. And uh, it's pretty gory there. We, but we see him later on that he's still alive and he like pieces himself together and he's like pushing like his brain material like into his skull <laughs> and he like closes the top of his skull and then he has a belt and he's like aha like he wraps like a belt around it like to secure like his head shut and I think and you can see like brain matter like sticking out like he just shoved it in there and oh anyways like the aliens have this house and they, they, I think, like, the bounty hunter people, they might, like, somebody gets captured, and, and they put on the clothes of the, uh, the aliens that they wear as humans. They wear, like, these blue shirts or whatever. Like, they put on their clothes basically as a disguise to go into this house and kind of invade, and they see what's going on. They see where there's, like, the leader, and, um... They were going to make, like, stew out of a guy, but I think they save him, and basically they they eat what they call, like, brule or something like that. It's, like, this green, like, nasty slop, like, that they made out of the humans, and uh, they're all passing around tasting it, and so the people who are impersonating them, they, they taste it, like, to go along with it, and then afterwards they're like, oh, sick. I don't know, um... Basically, it turns out that this house is like a UFO, and like it ends up like folding up, and like all the grass and stuff on the outside is like carpet, and it like rolls up underneath of it, and the house ends up taking off. Uh, there's a pretty gory climax uh, at the very end with like the main leader and that psycho guy who holds his head shut with uh, uh, his belt. He has, like, a chainsaw, and he ends up, like, cutting through the alien. So, yeah, there's tons of guts and blood and just a lot of action and shooting. I mean, this movie is, at the time when I watched it, it was, like, nothing else that I've seen. I mean, even to this day, it stands out so much. It just has so much attitude and coolness, and the aliens are gross, and they have, like, these big, like, butts. Like, their, their mind, like, they, when they when they go into their full alien form, they're, like, almost, like, naked, and they're, they're just so weird-looking, so gross. <laughs> it's a pretty awesome alien costume. Um, you see how they walk, it's really weird. Anyways, pretty blessed to have this. Let's look at the case here. See, he's got the middle finger up. There's two different ca uh, covers on here. I can switch it around where he also has the peace sign. See, it has the fork with the blood on it. It says Crumb's Crunchy Delight. So, so I think that main leader alien is Crumb. See just how weird he looks? The eye holes, like the nose right next to it. It's like his eyes are like further in and weird. The back of it, it says the notorious debut feature from Peter Jackson. So was this the very first movie that Peter Jackson did? That's pretty cool, too. Director of Dead Alive, Heavenly Creatures, and Lord of the Rings. I've never seen Heavenly Creatures. That's one i got to put on my list. I don't own Dead Alive, but I used to. I definitely want to get that again. Uh, for some reason, bad taste, I really like more, but Dead Alive I love, and it is the goriest movie of all time, and there's so much that's crazy and good about that, but... Bad taste, I, I don't know. We'll now do for DVD what Rocky Horror did for Midnight Shows. It's what Tony Tapone from Fangoria says. I've never seen a movie that's so disgusting it's great, says a Hollywood reporter. Hilarious headbanger horror makes your TV cry out for windshield wipers. That's from Tim Lucas of Gore Zone. And, yeah, there is some rock soundtrack too, I know, at the end and stuff. A lot of the the gun shooting. Um. When an army of evil aliens invades Earth with the intention of selling mankind as intergalactic hamburger meat, the New Zealand government calls in an elite team of psychotic assassins. But are these boys brutal enough to tackle the vilest villains in the universe? Get ready for the ultimate battle of flying guts, splattering brains, exploding sheep, 
and guzzling vomit. This is more than just one of the greatest and most disgusting horror comedies ever made. This is bad taste. You have never seen anything like bad taste. This legendary low-budget debut from producer, director, co-star, co-writer, star Peter Jackson is packed with all the outrageous action. So does Peter Jackson actually act in this? I don't know. I wonder what he does. Senseless violence and sick humor that has made it one of the most radical cult classics of all time, restored and newly transferred from original, original vault materials, bad taste is now presented completely uncut, uncensored, and unrated in all its gory glory. From Anchor Bay Entertainment. Wow. Um... It's pretty cool. There's some facts in here and stuff. I didn't even realize that. This has a little menu. Today's selections talks has the that has some facts. Might look through these real quick. Is there anything interesting here? I don't know. The film was shot over a period of four years, starting in October 1983. It was filmed mostly on the weekends when director Peter Jackson had time off from his job at the local newspaper. Wow. Four years. It would be very easy for me to write an overly effusive commentary on this film. It means a great deal to me. My first viewing of the splatter comedy classic remains one of the highlights of my movie watching days. So forget the usual dry paragraph littered format that those sorts of scribblings usually take. For a film that is concerned with alien fast food workers who slaughter the citizens of a small town and the government commando squad sent and to stop them, I think a more direct approach is appropriate. And so, yeah, the only characters you really get in this movie are the aliens and the people that are going after the aliens. So you don't really see, like, the civilians and stuff. Hmm. Huh. He appeared, uh, Peter Jackson appeared on screen as AIDS, AIDS member Derek, who later falls off a cliff to spend the rest of the film trying to keep his brain from leaking out of his fractured skull. That's Peter Jackson? Wow. So Peter Jeff Jackson's the crazy guy that the movie basically ends with him killing. Like, he, once the house launches off, like, the UFO, like, the, the crazy guy, like, you think, the alien, like, thinks that he got away or whatever, but then the crazy guy, who is Peter Jackson, I guess, is in there, and he has a chainsaw, and so he ends up killing that guy. That's awesome, I never knew that was Peter Jackson, I need to listen to the commentary and stuff on here, but this movie definitely reserves, deserves a lot more to talk about, or a lot better of a review, but I figured, I've loved this and seen it, you know, quite a handful of times I feel like I could talk about it. the plot's simple you know there's aliens that want to eat people there's the people that go after them but yeah it's got good music it's got beautiful scenery I just it's just so different and yeah I mean and it's kind of like I'm kind of deciding you know what movies do I want to go over in this horror thing so I'm really trying to keep it like you know they keep calling this a horror comedy, and I think it's really just kind of, it's hard to really place this in the category, but I think, I think you could say it was horror. There's a lot of funny stuff in it, I mean, you could say it's a horror action movie or something because there's action in it, I mean, it's just original. But yeah, I think definitely, I mean, if you think about some some creepy people that you wanted to dress up as on Halloween, like Michael Myers or Jason or whatever. I think, like, this alien kind of is pretty, you know, it's Halloween-ish. It's, it's horror. So. Anyway, I needed to get that done, so. Bad taste, number nine. So, still got quite a few more to go. All right, guys. God bless. Thanks for watching. And before I leave, I want to say that this is the the entire video is on YouTube, so you need to go watch this because I looked up for the trailer on YouTube, and they had like the full film, like for free. Somebody had uploaded it, so 
while it's still up there, go watch this. If you haven't seen it, watch it on YouTube. Um, definitely. If you're into that kind of thing, you kind of like something different, and you want to see some blood and gore like you haven't seen before, you know. It's not horrifying like Saw or something. It's It might make you, like, queasy because, like I said, there's, like, brain matter or there's, like, intestines or something. And, uh, but it doesn't, it's not really gritty and serious and raw and all that stuff. It's just, yeah, it's just there. It's more of a comic book kind of gore thing. Anyway. Alright, guys. Signing off. See you later.